Hello and welcome to the first video of 2022. So I hope you had a great Christmas and I just want to wish you all a happy new year and let's hope this year's a good one. So in this video I want to go over some of the changes to Neon and uh, Digistix 2 that have happened over the last few weeks. Uh, I'm going to start with Digistix because we've added a new feature I think you'll find quite interesting and uh, it probably needs a bit of an explanation from me. So if you're familiar with Digistix you'll know that whenever we tap one of the 16 uh, drum pads on the right hand side this uh, preview window changes to reflect the pad that we've currently pressed. Now I've added another section to this preview window which is for polyrhythms. So basically you can use these two arrow keys up in the top right corner of this preview window to uh, move between the various uh, settings for this uh, selected uh, pad. And here you can see we have a, a polyrhythm section. And to demonstrate this, I'm going to select the uh, shaker uh, pad and you see the, uh, the pad number and the pad name are reflected in the top left corner. Now if I enable polyrhythms on this shaker track, you'll notice that in the grid area, uh, the divisions, the uh, um, vertical uh, lines between uh, uh, steps uh, have all been removed and it's got like a greenish background which uh, uh, tells us we're in polyrhythm mode. Now this polyrhythm uh, window has 10 uh, knobs and if we start from the left hand knob and uh, increase that uh, volume of that knob you'll see that uh, it's split the 16 beats up into uh, one unit so we get a single note there at the beginning of that grid. Uh, if we were to uh, move uh, knob 2 uh, it will split the grid up into two equal units. Uh, knob 3 will split the grid into three equal units and so on. Now by combining these we can end up with something which uh, people refer to as polyrhythms. And uh, we can get some interesting patterns and it allows us to split the grid on, on boundaries that are subdivisions of uh, whole units. Now if we change the mode to uh, polyrhythms plus snap, you'll see that the um, notes then snap to the grid and we can get some interesting results uh, using various combinations of these knobs and it sounds more syncopated when we do this. Now normally for say bass and snare you just draw those notes in but I'm going to actually use this um, polyrhythms to uh, add a bass drum and a snare because this will uh, allow me to show you what the offset knob does. So uh, once we have a bass drum uh, 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 that we like we can uh, we can switch to a snare and uh, you'll notice that the uh, when we split it into two even units um, they fall in line with the bass drum so we can use the offset to, uh, to rotate uh, the pattern. So as you can see there, it's a great way to add uh, uh, patterns with various velocities uh, very quickly and easily and you can easily turn those on and off or experiment with those just to get ideas. Now, like I said before, this is great for shakers and hi-hats and things like that where you you want to create rhythmic patterns. So you can twiddle around with these knobs until your heart's content and you'll always find uh, um, that by, um, by by using some of the odd numbers um, and, and actually snapping to grid, uh, you can get some quite uh, interesting ideas. Now the great thing about this is you're not really restricted to drum sounds either because Digistix has a way of sampling sounds in and we even ship with uh, a couple of kits that uh, have samples that are not really uh, drum samples such as the musical bells kit um, and this can be used to create some uh, interesting uh, ideas and patterns. <laughs> Now 
So as you can hear, this is just a random set of bell sounds here, but some of them are very pleasing on the ear, and we can probably uh, tune them and make them sound uh, a little bit uh, uh, better, uh, setting them up as a polyrhythm. So uh, I've cleared the uh, I've cleared the pattern, and let's just have a go and see what we can create. Now I think for what I'm trying to achieve there, that tempo is a little bit too fast, so let's slow it down a little, and uh, yeah, that's a little bit better, so we get, get a little bit more room to breathe as I start adding uh, different layers, it's going to get a little bit too uh, crowded. I think you get the idea. Uh, it's just an interesting uh, way of mix, mixing uh, uh, polyrhythms with uh, traditional notes. You can add notes onto the polyrhythm tracks, you're not restricted in any way, but the polyrhythms just work in the background. Now another addition to Digistix 2 is the ability to uh, import uh, old Digistix 1 songs. Now previously you could import the drum kits, but you couldn't import the songs. Well, that's changed now in the next version of Digistix 2. Now, what you need to do is go over to Digistix 1 and then back up your songs using uh, the backup button uh, on the sample view. Uh, that will create a, a, a zip bundle of all your songs. You can place that literally anywhere on your device. So in my case, I'm just going to go to the Helium folder and uh, click on Create Document. And that uh, has exported uh, our song files. Now, if we move over to Digistix 2, all we need to do is tap on the hamburger menu at the top of the display and pick uh, Restore from the main menu. Uh, we're then prompted with what we want to restore. In this case, it's Songs. So select Songs. Select the file we exported in Digistix 1 and job done. And we can export uh, drum kits in exactly the same way if needed. So let's turn our attention to uh, Neon. And there's a couple of nice additional features I added here and uh, quietly released these over the last few days. So the first one, uh, if we click on the metering options menu, you'll notice uh, next to the tuner we now have this uh, spectrum analyzer now this window is sizable and you can drag and drop that where you want uh, it has the benefit of remembering uh, the last mode you're in so if you can see here i was in a spectrum analyzer type of mode um, showing sixth octave we can change that uh, setting by uh, clicking these uh, buttons above the display we could even go, go to a traditional linear display or even an octave display. Um, now this is very useful for working out just what frequency content you have uh, within your audio file and, uh, and doing whatever limiting factors you, you might deem necessary. Uh, but I think that's quite a useful uh, addition. And as you can see here, it does remember uh, the last setting. So yeah, very, very useful. And a nice uh, tool to complement the tuner we added in a recent update too. Now in a previous version of Neon, we introduced the ability to scrub along the timeline uh, using the particle engine to uh, generate the, uh, the audio. And I've utilised that same technology to create a, uh, it's a kind of a pseudo uh, harmonizer. Uh, now we also had a autotune module, which I think I demonstrated in a previous video. But don't confuse that now with this granular uh, harmonizer, vocal harmonizer. It only really works on vocals. So if you remember, I'm just scrubbing here along the timeline and you can hear the, uh, the particle engine at work. Um, it obviously <laughs> it's uh, quite a lengthy piece of data if I just zoom in a little bit 
and slowly scrub your your hair a little bit better now that same te technology has been put into this module so let's just give you an idea of what that can do it's it's not the most perfect of harmonizing but it, it works quite well and it has a unique sound all i wanna do is lie and relax to you and look you in the eyes and show how much i love you now you may notice when you change the voicing that the uh the um the harmony is either too far too high or too low compared to the original audio and it does sound a bit grating at times and the further away from the original pitch you go the worse it sounds so if you turn on this rap function um that will uh, try and uh, make sure that the shifted note is as near to the original as possible but no 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 better but now I know, now I know, now I know better So the last thing I want to bring up is the fact that uh, we've now rerouted the effects processing so that uh, anything in the media player when previewed can go through the effects. Um, and also uh, on the delay effect we've now added a low pass filter. Uh, which I think uh, takes, allows you to check out some of the bottom end and I think it sounds a lot more I natural now. She's like an angel. So that just about concludes an this short video. Um, now obviously 2022 like uh, is a new an year and I'm looking forward to uh, hearing an from you guys, uh, hearing the suggestions heart. and uh, and, and, and hope it's another good year for us all. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, thumb up this video if you found the content interesting. See you next time.